Good and thanks for staying with us here at 730. It's a question that bubbles back up every so often. Is Charlotte a contender for Major League Baseball? Now there are currently 30 Major League Baseball teams. You have 15 each in the American and the National League. Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred, though, has said he would like to add two teams to get to a total of 32. But he's also said stadium issues in Tampa and Oakland needed to be worked out first. Well, that appears to be happening. So now people are again starting to whisper about expansion. When this has come up in the past, local leaders have always said because the city is growing, eventually we would be ready for Major League Baseball. And certainly we've seen the draw of Minor League Baseball in Uptown with the Knights at Truist Field. So is eventually here. Right now there are only two TV markets bigger than Charlotte that don't have Major League Baseball. You got Orlando, Florida and Sacramento, California. But keep in mind, both of those cities have teams less than two hours away by car. You got Orlando being very close to Tampa, Sacramento close to San Francisco. So by market size, that puts Charlotte at the top of the list. Just below us is Portland, Oregon, said to be a contender. And then comes Raleigh. Could the capital city be in the mix here? Well, current Car Carolina Hurricanes owner Tom Dundon got people talking recently. The billionaire told the North Carolina Sports Network that he will lead a group to put the best foot forward to Major League Baseball. And that got the attention of Lucille Sherman at Axios Raleigh. And I ended up sort of digging in and talking to some sources around the state government area, just in Raleigh, um, and have it's my understanding that state officials in Raleigh are sort of pushing for this, um, pushing for the idea of pitching Raleigh to the MLB as a city um, to bring a team to. So what's their selling point? What are they going to pitch to Major League Baseball that North Carolina, specifically Raleigh, is the place? Yeah, so a lot of parts of the pitch are sort of that, you know, we've been named best in business two years in a row. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to have really low corporate income taxes uh, going to zero by 2030. Um, and then for Raleigh, you know, one big thing is that we're the second fastest growing city in the country mm -hmm. next to Austin. And then also, I think, you know, sort of the fan turnout for the Carolina Hurricanes in the last couple of years um, is a big selling point as well. But obviously, when expansion comes up, it's Charlotte's name, you know, that's always mentioned, you know, in these articles. Um, are we expecting Charlotte just to lay down and act like, no, we don't want this either? <laughs> Uh, no way. Um, <laughs> no chance. I think what's really an important point to be thinking about is Charlotte has so much more opportunities for funding in terms of an MLB team. Mm -hmm. And Raleigh, it sort of remains to be seen um, if it will have that. And so I think, you know, we've seen major league teams obviously make their way to Charlotte and have done well um, mm -hmm. and gotten funding for that. And so I think that's one thing that Raleigh sort of has some stiff competition with Charlotte for. We're talking about funding. We're talking about corporate sponsors, the corporate headquarters that are here. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Corporate sponsors. Yes. Um, obviously two of these things also mean state and local money gets poured into it at, at some point, whether for a stadium or infrastructure, whatever it may be. Do you, do you get a sense there's an appetite for that in the general assembly? You know, it's really early, so it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. I do get a sense that there is interest in that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the General Assembly sort of comes around to this idea. It feels like we're still a long ways off mm -hmm. from making any of those decisions. It seems like a lot of lawmakers aren't really looped in to this discussion just yet. But yeah, I think there's definitely some interest, to say the least. Now, we did reach out to the Charlotte Sports Foundation, which works to attract sporting events to the city. We asked if any efforts were happening here. They told us they had no comments. And finally, a few things to remember here. Major League Baseball will be looking for an expansion fee north of $2 billion. Then you have to build a stadium. As for when something will happen, USA Today reports MLB will begin serious talks with interested cities next year. New teams could start play in 2020. 28. Stay tuned. We'll see where that goes.